Okay, so this is the end of um, the first video. Um, really, really, really important is that you want to change this from students can view file because they won't be able to type on it if you do that. Um, if you click on students can edit file, they'll all be working on the same document. Huge chaotic situation. I've done it. We all do it. It's part of being a rookie at this. Make a copy for each student. Then every student has their own copy. It will automatically post to your Google Drive. And um, so it's really um, a good way to um, have students do their writing. This is how I have them do their final draft. Okay, so up here you have the assign button. If you want to assign it right away, you just click that. If you um, if you want to schedule the assignment or if you want to save it as a draft, like you're not sure when you're going to do it yet, you can save it as a draft. Schedule the assignment. Let's say that you want it to pop up on, um, uh, let's say that I'm planning for April 6th, which is the day we're actually going back to work. And I do my writing, I'm just making up a time, uh, later in the day, say 11 o'clock a.m. I don't want them seeing it until then. So I do that and I schedule it. Okay, so here it is. It shows it's when it's scheduled for, if you need to reschedule it, you can edit it and redo that. It'll also pop up on the Google Calendar and students can look at the calendar and see what's coming up. Ooh, you get to see all my crazy craziness on um, my whole entire calendar. So I'll get rid of that because that's a little scary to look at on vacation. Anyway, so also your class drive folder will show um, the assignments that are there so far. So right now it's just my template, but then as students um, are typing, it will show up there. You can actually pop in as they're typing and encourage them. Oh, you're doing a really good job, Billy, or um, Susie, get back to work. You haven't typed for a little while. Um, anyway, it's kind of a nice way to spy on them and it freaks them out. <clears throat> and that's where the assignments will be. So you have to print out an assignment for, um, for an SST or something. You can either get it through here or when you're in your Google Drive, you can type in the student's name up here in Search Drive, and it will show you all the um, all the pay, all the assignments that student has turned in, and then you can pick and choose what you want to print out from there. Um, next, we're going to do announcements and asking questions.